Hey, I'm Brendan with Knowles 24-7 here in the Florida State Baseball Press Box, all by myself. Kind of a weird vibe. I don't know. 7.30 here on Monday evening. The Seminoles just wrapped up their first practice of spring football. I'm going to go over three guys who really impressed me today. One, two, three. Yes, three guys who really impressed me, stood out. Pleasant surprises maybe is going to be the best way to phrase these uh, three players, how to sum them up. Uh, so let's go down the list. Number one, the guy who I, I think just really impressed me because I wasn't expecting what I saw today, that was Winston Wright. Uh, that's music to the ears of FSU fans who were hopeful that he would return to his pre-injury form. I honestly don't know like what his pre-injury form looks like because we didn't really get to see him play much or practice much before he got hurt in the car accident last spring. So Winston Wright today was impressive because he was moving like a guy that didn't look like he was ever really injured. Uh, I think that's kind of what stands out. At one point, uh, Dane was looking to one side of the field, saw a guy catch the ball out of his, out of his periphery, uh, and didn't realize it was Winston Wright because he just made such a natural play on the football. Winston had a really good day for FSU in general. Uh, good, consistent hands, made some nice catches downfield. I think the play that stood out to me the most, though, was about like a 10- to 15-yard pass over the middle of the field where uh, a, a defensive back kind of – was draped over him as he caught the football like this, and the guy was swatting at him, and he held on to the football, which was really impressive, right? Uh, but then fell to the ground, kind of slid, held on to it, and popped right back up uh, after making sure everything was cool, and he, he felt okay. And, and physically, he handled like that first test uh, of, of being through a bit of a physical uh, practice. Now, there weren't pads on today. There's obviously gonna be more tests for Winston Wright along the way, but he, he was good today. That was really encouraging to see. Uh, number two for me is going to be newcomer Daryl Jackson, the defensive tackle, Miami transfer. Wow. Uh, he looked impressive when we saw him on an official visit this, uh, this winter. He looked impressive a second time when we saw him at Tour of Duty last week. And you get to see him move with not pads on, but with the helmet and, and football movement skills. And uh, there was, it, it's so impressive at like six foot six, 320 pounds, how he moves. Uh, it looks like a guy who's like six two, three hundred. 300. Like he, he just, my legs cramping. I'm getting old and I've been standing for a long time. Uh, he, he looks like a guy who, who moves at, who, he moves like a guy who's much lighter. Uh, than and much smaller and more compact than what he actually is. Uh, I think that is a really promising sign for FSU when you're talking about someone with like NFL size, like legitimate prototypical size. That the fact that he he's able to carry it well and uh, and move well. The rep of the day for him, maybe the rep of the day for for anyone, came towards the end of the practice. It's one on ones and and obviously again no pads. That's the context here. Like that that does matter. Uh, but but still you're in one on one pass pro. Uh, drills and the entire team was lined up around Daryl Jackson because everyone was wrapped around them. I couldn't see who he was going against. Whoever the offensive lineman was that he went against, he put the offensive lineman on his back. It was a reverse pancake. It was, it was cool to see uh, what I could see of it. Uh, obviously, the rest of the defense went crazy at the win, but just like you saw this like enormous power and strength uh, in in physical violence, like of like what you could do from just a a physicality perspective to to jolt another 300-pounder uh, that way uh, and to, to put him on his back. Like, yeah, like that, that – Daryl Jackson's going to if, – if he plays consistently this year and if he continues that with pads on, he might be a problem for offensive linemen this year. And then and third and finally for me, uh, the surprise of today that I think maybe when we just look at what growth is from a year-over-year -year perspective, A.J. Duffy. The redshirt freshman quarterback came in last year as a four-star recruit, highly touted. Had some good moments in the spring where he showed off his arm talent, but really never like took that next step during the season. By that, like he never seemed like he got super comfortable with the offense. Never looked natural. We'd heard some really good things about AJ Duffy this offseason in terms of him getting pushed by Brock Glenn, the true freshman quarterback, and kind of understanding there's a chance to also push Tate Rodemaker as Jordan Travis's quarterback too. Uh, got to see AJ Duffy in tour of duty last week and physically like he looked a little bit different a little bit more muscular like he developed some uh, but what really stood out today was how he handled the offense how he carried uh, the scheme out well and was really decisive in his actions of throwing the football was pretty accurate made one or two nice throws downfield but by and large it was him just getting the ball to the right place and getting out quickly uh, again context day one seven on sevens no pads like not a ton of physicality, not a ton of like live action uh, 
real consequences, right, or, or even real pressure. But in terms of him showing maturation as a quarterback, like, yeah, that was there today. So uh, overall, it was a really good first day for Florida State. I thought you were able to see the, the size of the team. Like, that was impressive. There's a lot of guys who belong at this level physically. Uh, the depth on the offensive line and defensive line, I think, stands out. That's going to be a storyline we continue to monitor as pads come on. But they looked good. There are multiple wide receivers who really impressed today. Winston Wright was among them. But, yeah, it, it was a really good day for FSU. First day, I'm excited to come back on Wednesday. Uh, that'll be the last day before pads, and then pads will be on on Friday. We'll do other videos throughout the week, have other analysis and whatnot on the Knowles 24-7 YouTube channel. Please like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and, and check out Knowles247.com as well. If you're watching this on Monday evening, know that we have one more day of our 50% sale for an annual subscription at Knowles247.com. It's a really good value. We have a lot of great content out there, recruiting, team analysis. Uh, all the information I gave you guys now, uh, is even more in depth, thousands and thousands of words on, well, maybe not thousands, but thousands of words, at least a thousand words, though, uh, on our Knowles 24 7 page for our Knowles insiders. So, anyways, I'm Brendan Snell of Knowles 24 7. Thanks for watching. Talk to you guys later.